as I get scared in the night. For this reason as well, I carry my Poe. He always goes with me wherever I go. I always have to share a bed of you, so I'm glad you bought that. What I bought was lashings and lashings of ginger beer. Yay! Chocolate bar or two. Some potted meat sandwiches mummy made, just for me and you. I bought serviettes and paper plates and matching forks and knives. So if you go hungry, then all of this food could surely save our lives. The tablecloth was bright, bright and gay, and fits the table, by the way. Just folded up neatly and packed away. <laughs> All this talk about food's made me feel rather hungry. Why don't we sit down over there and have a bite to eat? Jolly, it's a bit of an idea. Let's do that. Ah, there's another job for you. <coughs> oh, why does you always have to do that right when we're about to eat? That there is the back of a king's horse. But unfortunately, it's got no head, so I can't attach the halter to it, and therefore I have no means of managing which direction it is to go. No! <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're glad you're not a real boy now. <laughs> Oh, good 
bed. I'm proud of you, my son. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed. What does it say? <gasps> We're having mixed corn for tea, my favours. <clears throat> Try for another job. Oh, oh don't go. Oh, I think he's obsessed. If I wasn't so tired, I'd fly after him. But I'm dead on my feet. <laughs> uh, not literally, so I appreciate it. Go away. Well, I've just arrived in a rather serious predicament myself. So a little compassion towards me would not come amiss. Sorry, but I've got to be on my way to save the day. I've got to go back to the palace with some news for the king and queen, and then I'm off to Rainbow Land, where I hope to catch up with Harry and Mary.